Okay, so you guys know I moved into this house and I, you know, was just trying to get content together and I stumbled across this thing, this nasty looking thing. And as you can see, I, I don't even know what that is. Like, it looks like it has like, like, like miniature dreadlocks. Like, it looks like he tried to get twisted. I, I don't even know, bro. But today we're starting a little analog horror little series. I know I was supposed to finish the mimic one. I need to go back and watch it. Um, but dude, I, I don't even know what the freak this is, but it looks crazy. So let's start off with like their first ever update upload we're gonna go from top to bottom what the freak bro already dude like why does look ugh. all right let me get immersed let me get immersed and put in full volume everything max let's go sorry can you please stop breaking through my screen is that a real hand this is the type of nasty stuff i'm talking about bro Whenever I watch these film, what the frick was that? No! Nah, bro, they be trying to. Has they this be... ever happened to you? Has this ever happened to you? It's getting dark outside. Uh -huh. You are getting ready for bed. Okay. Grabbing a cold glass of water, and now you are turning off all the lights in the house. I got my water right here. Oh, that's G fuel. Do you feel that, or maybe hear that? That sinking feeling that something is following you as soon as you turn off the lights? Bro! Well, worry not. We have a brilliant solution. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. There is nothing that follows you after you turn off all the lights in the house. My nose is itching. My nose If y'all don't know, bro, when I get creeped out by something or something looks nasty, something looks weird, my nose starts itching, bro. Bro, come on, bro. Bro, this is about to be gross, bro. This is about to be nasty. Wait, is this on someone's TV? Is that in someone's window? Hold on. What do you want? That's in someone's window. What do you want? Please go away. Please go away. If you need to use the bathroom, you can't use it go. in my, my house. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait, is that this? Oh! Oh! oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that looks insanely real, bro. Oh my gosh. My heart, my heart's doing the dead by daylight heartbeat when you see a monster. <laughs> the body appeared untouched. What? Oh, so he broke through the window. And they're gonna add a laugh track on my boy's death. That's crazy. So the first episode, he was literally breaking through the TV screen. So they were just basically showing us what the guy was watching before this all happened to him. Like, who's gonna watch this type of tape? <laughs> Toe making friends. Okay. Time to rise and shine. Good children are up bright and early. Yes. Good children play pretend. Okay. That looks like a chicken on the left. Good children do not play with their food until it's all gone. Okay, what was he doing? Hold on, I gotta see what he was doing. Oh, he was I he was just putting up gang signs. I don't even know what that was. Good children, make friends. Oh, are they making friends with him through the 
what? Dominique 999, Ellie Wings, Bauer Carter, for governmental purposes, viewing only. Connect second, pals for life. Oh, pen pals. Yo, oh, hello, yo, man, what's up? It's been, a, like, forever. Okay, seriously, thought you were dead or something. Look, we've been online friends for a while now. Yes, best friends. Oh, y yeah. Hey, look, I know it's none of my business, but it feels like you've been acting really distant lately. You've been going through something? If so, I'm here f to talk uh, to me, man. Okay. Like I said, it's none of my beeswax, and you don't have to say nothing. But do you need something? Face call, please. Video call? He's trying to go through his screen. It's like almost 1 a.m. where I am. Whack time zones, remember? Please, now. Seriously, are you good? Like I said, I'm here if you want to talk. I know you started that new school recently, and it was whack. Okay, yes, talk face. That is not your friend. Hey, no, seriously, I can't. I can't. I can't. Really sorry, but tomorrow, okay? Please let me, friend. That is not your friend. Seriously, are you all right, Dom? Uh, Dominique's not here. Please, 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 please. This man said, okay, yes, talk face. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Please, 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 please. Not cool, man. What the heck? Okay, okay. Please, just as quick, uh, uh, wait, just as quiet as possible. Like, whisper. Okay, yes. My mom's is a light sleeper, remember? Starving. Help! Please. I would not answer the phone if someone said they were starving to see me, bro. Nah, though I swear if this is a weird heckin' prank, hated those. They were never fun. Yeah, this man about to get eaten. Yep, his buns are toast. Don't answer the phone. Bo, he's hitting the freaking Irish jig in the corner. He's done. None of it makes any sense. Everything inside was gone. What the freak, bro? Hey, this is a warning for everybody, yo. Unless this is just a part of the video. I think it might be, actually. Make sure you have the following uh, in the vicinity. Earplugs, a pencil, a sheet of paper, a standard Christian Bible open to Psalms 91.10. Okay, make sure you guys have this stuff, man. Um, I got my piece of paper right here. I'm just going to use my phone. And we have earbuds, a pencil. Yeah, we're fine. If something unusual begins speaking in tongues. Oh, wait. Begin speaking in tongues tangible uh, to the naked ear. Insert earplugs, okay? Write the following on the page. I can see this paper. I can see my hand. I can't hear the screaming of thousands. I can't hear the feast. I am moving, breathing, human being on planet Earth. Okay? After these words are written, recite Psalms 91 aloud if memories of Im imaginary something unholy persist in your mind. In the event you are required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities immediately. Afterwards, you will be administered uh, anesthetics. Is that what I said? Uh, many to lead a normal life afterwards. Meaning appear to lead, okay. The boiled one phenomenon, or I don't even know what that said. August 13th, 2003, Tree of Heaven. In the late 1990s, a, a now classified documentary based television program would debut for a local station in Pen uh, Pennsylvania. Why can't I say the word? Pennsylvania. The program revolved around woodland plant and animals and was primarily directed towards children. The star of the show, the narrator, would talk about the wonders of nature, the dangers of it, how to appreciate it, and most importantly, dang! Uh, unfortunately, in two, early 2001, the program would be taken off the air due to the host passing away. Wow. They over here... Then something odd happened. August 13, 2003, the 13th episode of the series began a rerun seemingly. The following audio recording uh, depicts the beginning segments of the episode. Video footage taken from episode three eight seven. Okay, okay. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest. They be the going fast. That's as beautiful as it is deceptive. Wow. Poison oak. Ooh, that's we poison oak. I know what that is. And here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common, but still something to look out for. Yeah. And here on. 
we aim to uncover all the wonderful secrets that nature has to offer, no matter how minuscule or gigantic. So let's get going, shall we? Hey! Found primarily in deep North American woodlands, Poison Oak has many different names and places of origin. Oh my gosh. Also referred to as... Why the audio Poison. getting like this? Imagine that. In China and Taiwan, one of these invasive species made its way to America in the yeah. 1700s. It's like he got a it took its ground copyright strike boldly. on his audio. As many of us know, it's infamous. What? Uh, during one of the interlude segments of the Anomalies broadcast to hijack the program, this uh, broadcast depicted videos of the red melted face that spoke to the viewer. Okay, this face is properties will be hereby referred to as something. Um, Finn 228 spoke clips of footage and even live camera feed monitoring hospitals and bedrooms. What the freak? Why y'all going so fast? They'll most remembered Finn 228 uh, speaking English. Multiple non-English speaking viewers remembered understanding every word that was spoken. I'm trying to get the story here, man. So it didn't even speak. Oh, okay. The following clip is restored recording of the anomalies broadcast. Uh, the duration of the clip has been shortened and the audio has been muffled, reversed, and dampened. These al alterations are obviously necessary to suppress its hazardous attributes. Oh, wow, as effectively as possible. For maximum safety, watch with blue light glasses and insert your earplugs. I do have blue light glasses, I think. I hope these are blue light glasses. I hope my freaking, um,. <laughs> My eye doctor didn't mess me up. Oh my gosh. Whoa. He looks so ugly. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's scary as freak. I'm about to start crying. This broadcast will hereby refer to as, okay. Broadcast 813 was viewed by roughly uh, 530 residents throughout the southern uh, uh, the, Pennsylvania. Just say the word. Pennsylvania area and upon viewing left many severally um, distraught. Severely distraught. Aside from the discomfort and the paranoia, Finn 228 uh, television presence had brought to the viewers, there were other side effects that these viewers experienced that were highly unnatural. Anxiety and paranoia, okay. And I couldn't explain the other ones. Many viewers reported not being able to keep the image of Finn 228 face out of their minds. Some even continued to hear his voice days after viewing. Holy crap, bro. This is insane. A victim who requested to remain anonymous claimed that the face was living in his brain and feeding his spine. Another described trumpets playing in their ears before they fell asleep. Bro, if I ever hear a trumpet before I fall asleep, bro, I'm about to start screaming. None of these people knew uh, that this was only the beginning. The beginning of a whole new species suffering that would never be fully understood. Okay. August 14, 2008, or 2003, holy crap. Uh, the Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. After the anomaly's frequency was detected, okay, y'all just gonna skip past it. Uh, the NERC was ordered by the Infrata branch to have all power grids local to the uh, state of state of Pennsylvania disabled by 4 p.m. to prevent further escalation of the anomaly and the public knowledge of uh, broadcast 813. So they were trying to hide it. The outrage uh, ultimately spread to various parts of New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and even Canada as well. Creating the famous Great Northeast Blackout of 2003, almost 50 million people were without power, some not getting it back until days later. Holy crap. All their food in their freaking fridge just went bad. Like, that's messed up. During the confusion caused by the outrage, all traces of broadcast 813 were collected by the Infrata, or uh, yeah, Infrata branch, and seemingly wiped from existence, including news articles and the works from being the morning after the uh, broadcast, internet posts, recordings, and more. 
The cause of the blackout was promptly covered up and claimed to have been a combination of human error uh, and the result of trees falling into sagging power lines um, somewhere in Cleveland, Ohio. That, wow. Covered up? And this could be happening in real life, too. Yeah, like, bro, there's a lot. But the damage had been had been done. Okay. Aftermath. 12 days after broadcast 813 was blocked from the air, a historically massive influx of something um, occurred throughout the state of uh, Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected and many families distraught. Or I don't know what that says. Does that say pseudocoma? I think that says I think that says pseudocoma is an extremely rare condition in which a patient experiences a what the frick a cerebrodelium spinal <laughs> a cerebromedullospinal disconnection I don't know what the freak I'm trying to say leaving them to be conscious but unable to move or communicate verbally due to the uh, complete why is this going by so fast this anomalous um outbreak of such a rare condition was regarded as a spectacle by the u.s department of health and was put under governmental investigation immediately can i just not read fast i think that's just me i have a like slow reading brain one thing in common with all of these cases is that the patients have been at home watching tv the night uh the broadcast 813 was aired Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he was popping up in the end. Uh, though the victims of the outbreak were unable to speak, they were able to communicate through Morse code by blinking. More than 60 victims were interviewed. He told them to shut up. Many of these interviews held unveiling results that often led to more questions and many others held results that required uh, archival or termination. Wow. However, fairly late into the investigation, the Infrata branch was notified by uh, oh of a particularly odd case revolving around one, uh, Job Zamperni, um, an elderly victim of the anomalous uh, pseudocoma outbreak. Job uh, Zamper oh Job Zamperni specifically requested his Elias to be used in future future records or records sorry um instead of his real name which will remain classified okay Zimperni was a war vet and fluent in Morse code putting him on the mark as a potential interviewee as soon as the outbreak was put under investigation that is so clutch bro After a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by his visiting grandson, his family became deeply troubled and convinced his house was haunted. This led them to contact the local priest in the hopes his house would be blessed. The following photo depicts, okay, standing next to the small playhouse. The photo itself has proved to be non-hazardous and safe to view, though it's still anomalous and, okay. So glasses are viewed from a distance of three feet or more. Holy crap, bro. If you see that, dude, that is insane. Upside down crosses claim something horrible and unholy was what the hermit and others described it and it was telling him. What the freak? The following is recovered previously archived recording that is Officer Gomez of Infrata Branch and interviews Job uh, Zepperni. Holy oh, crap. Me. I'm Officer Gomez. I hope you're doing well today. <laughs> Give it to God and go to sleep. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions regarding your condition and possibly um, unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned? Translation sequence? Okay. Okay, first and uh, foremost, did you notice any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body? face huh there was a face wow hmm. when did you begin seeing this face interesting i thought i saw it on the tv and Many never the left people me. who have seen the broadcast that you saw on august the 13th described having vivid and upsetting hallucinations 
Do you think this is something your brain has created? He's like, heck no. No, it is in the window. This face to me? <laughs> Horribly burnt, not a Lord, not of Lord Christ. I, uh, I still don't see it. Have you been having any hallucination aside from the face? Dude, that is I'm nuts. sorry to hear that. I hear screaming of any voices. Are these screams constant? <gasps> it's in the window. It's in the window. Look to the left. Thank you. But Lord the Christ it is with me. This is helping more than you. Know. I can see you. Me? Boy, if you don't get your goofy. Oh no. Nah. Wonderful day. The miracle of birth of fetal fanfare. What does that Bro, no, keep it in there. Together, we will be still. Together, a feast of birthday. Together, melded by love and purest connection. Be still. Warning, if you can see this screen, it means it's not safe to continue viewing the program. Well, and shortly. Protocol. What? Perform the procedures given to you by the- In the name of Jesus, holy lord, Psalms- I open up Psalms, I got open up Psalms, I got open up Psalms. I got God! No evil shall- <laughs> What? 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 Bro, I started playing some my boy's video, bro. Holy crap. Yo, shout out TGO. Holy crap! <laughs> nah, I didn't like that whatsoever. Isn't there one more piece? No, that was literally- Oh, wait. There's one more piece. I gotta turn off my lights again. They said it's not safe. But who gonna stop me? You are in no condition to sleep like this. I shop, a shower will make you better. What happened to the time? <sighs> my baby's asleep? Where's my child? Oh, you're a child. Oh my gosh. Ugh. But it wasn't my fault. Yo, what the heck going on, man? Okay. Whoop. Dog, why were you taking a shower in my shower? I didn't mean to walk in while you just closed the door. Ugh. I never to you. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. Close the door and go. There's no point in staying. He hovered. <laughs> I would have left the house, me personally, but okay. Oh my gosh, look, he, he followed me. Is that his kid? Oh, did his kid pass? And that's like his haunted dreams of his kid or something? Wow, that took a dark turn. That took a dark turn. But my room finna had to take a light turn because I ain't, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not messing with this no more, bro. But that was Dr. Nowhere. Make sure you guys go down in the description down below and you know, hit that sub button. Make sure you check them out because this is pretty interesting. I don't know what the freak is gonna happen next, but uh, yeah, this is just creepy as freak, bro, because I don't know, like, it's just nasty. Yeah.